Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about five things that you can do to start investing in real estate right away. There's five things that we really need to do and these things are so important, okay? Because if we are not doing these things, it's gonna be an uphill battle, all right? So number one is you cannot keep your business a secret, all right? So there are no secrets, no secrets. And what I mean by that is, is if you are looking to invest into real estate and to buy houses, you need to be posting online and telling every single person you know that you are looking to buy properties or apartments or mobile homes or whatever it is. How do you expect to get free leads if, 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 if nobody knows what business you're in, right? Nobody's gonna bring these to you if they don't know. So you gotta go online and you need to post online that you are looking to buy houses. Number two, you need to learn how to drive for dollars. Driving for dollars is so incredibly simple. You get in your car. If you don't have a car, you could literally get on a bus. And as this thing is moving down the road, you're gonna look out the window and you're going to try to identify properties that look like they need a ton of work and you're gonna write down those addresses, okay? And these addresses, we will use on another step soon soon down the list, all right? But finding the distressed properties is gonna be some of the best real estate deals that we can find. Reason being is, is you can't go online and buy a list of properties that have tarps on the roof. There's no database for that. So you have to use your eyes and you gotta get out there and you have to drive around, you have to locate these properties. Number three is, we are going to get really, really comfortable at cold calling or cold texting, reaching out to property owners. So we're gonna call this cold call slash SMS. Reason being is, is we need to get on the phone with those people that own these properties. Maybe they're distressed properties like this example here, or maybe they're properties that we did get from a list, like a list of vacants or absentee owned properties, but we gotta reach out to these people. If they're not calling us saying, hey, I wanna sell you my house, then we need to be calling or texting them, asking them if they're interested in selling their house. Marketing is nothing more than a fancy word for getting people on the phone. Think about that for a second. That's all it is, it's getting people on the phone. And typically all marketing roads lead to a phone call. Even when they go to your website and they fill out a form, you typically have to pick up the phone and call that person set the appointment anyway. So if your phone isn't ringing from your direct mail or whatever it is that you're doing, you need to start ringing other people's phones. That's marketing 101. All right, number four, we have don't keep your business a secret, driving for dollars to generate leads, get comfortable at cold calling or cold SMS. Number four would be to go pull lists. And the two lists that I love are vacants and are ab absentee here's the thing i've bought and sold about a thousand houses in my life and check this out 70 percent or more of those properties have either been a vacant house or an absentee owned house i would even go as far as say 75 percent of the time that's a terrible looking 75 there we go 75 percent or more are from vacants and absentees. So when you are driving for dollars, you are creating your own list. When you are pulling a list, you are getting a list. Both of these ways are great. My personal favorite would be to go drive for dollars, but we do both. Get comfortable at calling and texting. You're gonna to need to call and text the list that you drove for dollars for, and you're gonna to wanna to call and text the list that you pulled online. By the way, if you guys are looking for the best place, to go get leads, batchleads.io forward slash Dave. There are some special deals you can get over there that give you a seven day free trial as well. And I think you can pull a thousand property records for free. So you can go pull a thousand leads, 1000 vacants or 1000 absentee, batchleads.io forward slash Dave, great place to go. All right, number five, all right, is it's kind of similar to number one but you want to go out and you want to network. You want to meet as many people in the real estate industry as you can. Other investors, other agents, title company owners or workers. 
um, people that do insurance, people that maybe do surveys. Maybe you're going to want to network with individuals that do property management, or maybe there's attorneys for evictions or for divorces. Regardless, they're all in the same sphere here. They're all in the same field of real estate investing. And by networking, you can build a big network and you can get leads brought to you. And it kind of goes hand in hand with not keeping your business a secret. What business am I in? I'm in the business of buying distressed properties. And in fact, earlier today, I made a post on my Facebook that just said, hey, Facebook friends, if I haven't talked to you in a while, I want to let you know that I'm still buying houses and I'm looking to buy a few more. If you have one or somebody you know has a property they want to sell, hit me up. Call me, text me, DM me, email me, whatever it is, but connect with me. So these are the most five important things that I would tell any of my students or anybody that's looking to get into real estate investing. Do not keep your business a secret. Let's say do not, right? That's the most important part. Secrets is crossed off for that reason. Do not keep it a secret. Tell everybody you know. Get comfortable at driving around. Guys, the best deals in town are the ones you're going to drive by because they may not be on this vacant or absentee list that you pull. When you drive for dollars, you create your own list. It's the best list, I promise you. Get comfortable talking to people. Guys, marketing is nothing more than getting people on the phone at the end of the day. So if your phone isn't ringing, start ringing or texting other people's phones, ideally from your driving for dollars list or from your vacant or absentee. Next would be learn how to pull these lists, all right? And I love the vacants and the absentees because 75% of my deals that I've bought in my entire life have been on one of those two lists. So literally 75%, I mean, that's like the low hanging fruit. Go pull those lists, call, call them, text them. If you want, you can even send direct mail to them. And then last but not least is very similar to the networking side of things, guys. This is where you can get free leads. People will bring them to you. But it all goes back to this here, though. Do not keep your business a secret because if you're out there networking and you're learning about other people and what they're doing, tell them what you are doing. Guys, if you want to learn how to pull lists, go to batchleads.io forward slash Dave. They're going to give you a seven day free trial and 1000 property records um, for free. And it is the best software. I use it to pull my leads. I use it to skip trace my leads. I use it to cold SMS my leads. Uh, I know that they're going to be launching a dialer here soon, so you're going to be able to call your leads. And I believe that you can even drive for dollars in your leads um, coming next week or the week after. A little birdie told me that they were going to be adding that. So you can do all that stuff. Batchleads.io forward slash Dave. And again, guys, these are the five things that are going to get you in the game the quickest. Focus on these. Don't do anything else. You got this.